Cardano continues to consolidate between $1.16 and $1.20. Will we see that bounce over our major level of support or will we break through it to potentially retest a dollar. Hey guys, my name is Mesh, hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're gonna be doing some technical analysis on Cardano. Before we get into the video, I wanna remind you to hit that like button. And also, if you wanna see more Cardano videos like this one, then make sure to hit subscribe. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So starting on coin market cap, you can see we're having somewhat of a neutral day. Bitcoin is down almost 1%, ETH is down almost 1%, BNB up about 2%, ADA is a little, slightly down 3% on the daily, Polkadot basically no trend, XRP for some reason up um, 16%, Uniswap up about 5%, uh, generally just no trend, we have some coins trending slightly in the green and some coins tra trending slightly in the red. So now taking a look at Cardano. So between that $1.16 and that $1.20 level is an area of support that we've been talking about for quite a while on this channel. And right now we are holding that area of support. Um, and you can see that we actually did come all the way down to the bottom of this channel and bounce off $1.16. And basically the 21 day EMA is also coming up to be in confluence with this area of support that I'm talking about. And right now the 21 day EMA is at $1.15.6. And the 21 day EMA is, like I've been saying, a very strong level of support. Now, if we do break beneath all this support here and break beneath the 21 day EMA. And I'm not talking about just like a small bounce, like a little wick beneath it and then we get a bounce ultimately. I'm talking if we actually solidify a break beneath $1.16, I think we can definitely be expecting to go lower from here. And um, our first area of support, if we do break that $1.16, is between $1.10 and $1.14. And that's where we've had some trading volume here, 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 and here. So that could act as a potential area of support. And if we do break that next line of defense, I think a dollar is definitely in play and we could come down to test that dollar level. Now, I know some people are calling for a 78 to 80 cent ADA, and I actually do not think that that's the case, uh, mainly because I think that right here at 96 cents to a dollar is a very, very strong area of support. And I can't really see us breaking beneath 96 cents. Um, but as of now, we are holding uh, basically $1.16 to $1.20, which is acting as some very strong support. And the 21 day EMA is going to continue to creep up here and be in confluence with that $1.16 level. Now, if Cardano is to bounce in the short term and potentially make a short term reversal. So again, that $1.16 to $1.20 is where we would want to see Cardano bounce if it is to bounce in the short term. And like I said, if we don't get that bounce in the short term and we break these levels, I think um, $1.10 to $1.13 cent ADA is in play and ultimately we could be retesting that dollar level. Um, but really we are like on the cusp of support and what Cardano does in the next like day or two really will determine the mid-ish term uh, trend for Cardano. Whether we do break that level of support and we continue to head down to that dollar or if we do ultimately find uh, a bounce right at these levels. Now, if we do find a bounce, um, that is nothing to be excited about either. So if we do somewhat have like a short term bounce, um, that could be another fake out. Ultimately, what I want to see to trend bullish on ADA is to break this um, lower high here. So we have this new pattern here of uh, lower highs and ultimately I want to see ADA break about $1.35 to flip bullish on ADA. So if we do see that bounce and we just trend to that $1.20 to $1.30 level, I don't think that's enough to confirm a short term reversal. So, you know, we could see another move like we did out back, back here where we had a giant fake out. So ultimately, I do want to see it break $1.35 to flip bullish. Um, in terms of the RSI, um, so the RSI has consolidated quite a bit and we've come back down uh, to 41 on the RSI, which is quite neutral. And the good thing is that there is so much potential room for upside. So this massive consolidation that we've had for Cardano over the past like four, or I think, let me see how many weeks it's been. It's been quite a while. 
uh, we've been consolidating for one, this is the fourth week. So we've, we've had uh, three weeks of consolidation. This really um, just solidifies that we have conquered the dollar level. So the fact that we're spending so much time above a dollar and really just, you know, holding that dollar level so well just shows that Cardano has conquered a dollar and uh, is able to trade at a dollar pretty comfortably. And that is a very good thing. Although on the shorter time frames, on the one hour, on the four hour, it looks very, very messy, uh, as you can see. On the macro time frames, so the daily, the actually the weekly, um, it's actually a very good and healthy thing. Like we've had this consolidation above a dollar and this consolidation, this, this extended consolidation really gives us the room that we need to trend even higher in a bull market. And I'm sure you've heard other YouTubers say it and I'm gonna say it again, in a bull market, we want to see consolidations. We want to see uh, down downwards action. And these consolidations really are not a bad thing. What they do is they act as a staircase um, for potentially more upside on the macro picture. So we are really holding the dollar level and that is a very good thing. Even though we have been consolidating for a few weeks, you can think of this as Cardano creating a very strong area of support where we are right now. And I was actually watching Benjamin Cohen the other day and he made a video about Cardano and Cardano holding a dollar. And I thought that was such a good video and what he talked about in that video was really valuable. And I'm just gonna go over it really quickly. I'm gonna leave a link to uh, Benjamin's channel in the description because I really do think that uh, he has one of the best crypto channels on YouTube. So taking a look back here in 2017, 2018, we're going to go to a dollar here, right here, and we're going to go ahead and put a line there. Um, so you can see Cardano has really only traded one, two, three, four, five, if you count the wicks, five days above a dollar. And really in 2017, 2018, Cardano was not able to hold a dollar. Like at that point, Cardano had been so overly extended and so overly bubbly that it ultimately couldn't hold a dollar and had to crash back down. But now, uh, the fact that we're holding a dollar so well, as opposed to 2017, 2018, is, is such a, a really macro good thing and is building the foundation that Cardano needs to go even higher. So in the short term, the fact that we're spending so much time between a dollar and like a dollar 30 might seem bearish, but really in the big picture, it's actually a very, very good thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.